Hey everyone, this is Marbozir and this is part 5 of Let's Play XCOM with Warspace Extension mod. My satellites are almost done. And I've been thinking about this before I started re recording. And I think I'm going to launch them over Africa because that will give me a plus 30% funding bonus. Which is going to help me a lot. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, they aren't actually done yet, I need two more days. Alright, now I can do it. I have three satellites, so I'm going to launch all three over Africa. There we go, it's done. And I need interceptors there. There we go. And let's continue. Carapace armor will be done in four days. So hopefully before the next mission. Oh, come on, come on. There we go, it's done. Yeah, that will help a lot. Okay, so next I'm going for Xenobiology, I guess. And now I'm going to need five carapace armors. That means I need some more money. That should be enough. Actually, no, it won't be. I need one more credit, I think. Or do I? Yeah, 25, so I need one more credit. Alright, let's do it. Hopefully they will be done before the next mission. Five days. Additional workshop, online. workshop is done, so now I just need extra credits to start building the next satellite uplink. And three more satellites. I should have enough money though. Yeah, 453 credits, that should be enough for both the satellite uplink and the next batch of satellites. So let's do that right away. There we go, that's done. And I still have 123 credits left. So I'm actually going to use these credits because uh, with this mod you get extra uh, item slots with various armor types. So with Carapace armor I'm going to have two item slots if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to check that first before I do something really stupid. Yeah. Okay, so I need some extra items because I don't necessarily want to bring double grenades on everyone. Which means I'm definitely going to make some nanofiber vests. Let's make three of these and two scopes. And I could probably use one more medkit, honestly. Alright, let's make one more medkit too. That should be good. Russia wants a satellite launched for 200 credits. Hmm, tempting. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Commander. We're detecting a new contact. A large UFO. Much larger than hmm. anything we've previously Interesting. Encountered. I hope I'll be able to shoot it down. Best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. Yeah, come back here. Is that an abductor? I'm not sure. I think it is. Come on, shoot it down. Yeah, I need to abort. Disengaging. Let's try one more then. Go fix it. Ah, it got away. Not good. But I think that was an abductor. I'm probably going to find out in a moment. Oh yeah, research is done. So now I can do all the autopsies for free. And instantly. Because I have the South America bonus. That's actually quite nice. It will definitely save me some research time, especially with long, long, longer research with this mod. So I'm actually glad I picked that starting location. And it's done. Alright, so what next? I think Arc Thrower is going to be next, yeah. 
How much money do I need for alien containment? 85. I should be able Still to do that. Dr. Vaughan expects our troops to try to bring one of those things back here in one piece. Much less alive. A little bit more. Yep, this will be enough. So let's build alien containment. And I expect some abductions in a moment. If that was an abductor. Scopes are done. And vests are done as well. There we go. How convenient. I just finished making all the items. <laughs> the locations are marked on the hologlobe. Alright, I'm going to go. Ah. Uh, I'm going to go for Argentina because there's free panic there already. So I don't really have a choice. I have to go for that. So that was uh, marked as difficult. Yeah, very difficult. Which means I probably want a decent squad and not just rookies. I suppose I could maybe bring one rookie. I want at least one more sniper because I only have one sniper at the moment. Alright, I'm going to bring one rookie. So let's give them all carapace armor and some extra items. Rabbit is going to get nanofiber vest. Hmm. I'm not quite sure about this yet. Well, Rex already has a scope. So... I suppose I can give him an extra med kit. He's not likely to be close enough to actually use grenades and he's not likely to take damage. So I'm just going to give him an extra med kit. I'm not too sure who's going to get the scope yet because I don't have enough nanofiber vests for everyone. I don't think I really need a scope with a shotgun, since I generally try to be in close range for that. And I have bullet storm, bullet swarm, so okay, right, I'm going to give scope to Engels. Especially since he can fire twice on one turn, so scope should be quite useful there. I suppose my rookie can get a scope as well. And I have two nanofiber vests. And now I ended up with one spare nanofiber vest actually. But this is what I'm going to go with. I still want to bring some frag grenades because they are more useful here than in vanilla. Especially against these annoying sectoids. We're moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. We've picked up a local broadcast. All right, let's do it. This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting. I wonder when I'm going to start seeing mutants. Strike one is clear to engage. I'm not necessarily looking forward to that. With what we've seen so far. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I jinxed it. Mutants already. Great. So I need to be very careful about grenades. Hmm. Maybe I should open with a rocket. That's not a bad idea. Although I don't think I'm going to hit that other one in the bag. I might, but I'm not sure if I will. Ah, let's do it anyway. I hope I'm not going to regret it. Alright, I hit them both. So I guess that was worth it. Can I actually kill them? Let's find out. Oh, another group? Hitman this time, not good. Alright, I need to try killing at least one or two mutants. 75% is good. One down. 
Let's try to kill one more then. 90% with the sniper. Yeah, I like these odds. But maybe it won't be needed. Hmm. Interesting situation. Okay, I'm actually going to use run and gun and go here. And there we go, another mutant down. And I'm behind full cover here, so that was a good move. And now I can try a headshot on one of these. Yeah, I can't see the third mutant. So I'm just going to have a regular shot at the floater, or at the thin man, I mean. And it's down. So that was a very good turn. So that's only one mutant and one thin man left. And he's actually running away. He's afraid of me. <laughs> Alright, let's take care of that thin man. I heard he likes shotgun to the face. Although moving too close to him is a bad idea with the poison. Okay, there he is. Not a great shot. But that was a good start. Let's rock. Oh, hi. I didn't see those. Did I actually trigger them right now or what? More floaters. Okay, this is going to get interesting now. Remember that with this mod the aliens can do more damage as well. So it's not just me doing more damage with conventional weapons. So the fact I got carapace armor doesn't mean a whole lot. Okay, nice. Right, so I need to think about this for a moment. Well, this seems obvious. That was easy. <laughs> Easier than I expected. So there's just one more floater left, right here. I think so. There he is. Oh yeah, and that mutant, I almost forgot about him. I wonder how much damage the mutants do with this mod. I didn't fight them yet with this mod, so I have no idea. I would rather not find out first hand, but I'm afraid I will eventually. <laughs> Okay, let's start with holo targeting then. I should have done that first before the sniper shot, but whatever, too late now. I can't get used to support having holo targeting. Hmm, can I actually kill him on this turn? That might be hard. I could just run up to him and shoot him in the face. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Shotgun to the face is always a good idea. Hi, 
I got a present for you. This probably is the last alien on the map now. Nope, it's not. Oh yeah, there's one more female. And my sniper can't see anything. Not great. And I'm out of ammo. So I need to reload. Somewhere safe, preferably. Let's see if I can kill this floater. Mm, probably not. I could throw a grenade. And get rid of his cover. That might not be a bad idea. Oh yeah, he was on Overwatch, not good. But he missed. But yeah, that was not a great move. But since I'm already here, let's throw a grenade. That got rid of his cover as well, so I should be able to kill him. 69% and I can go a bit closer. Seventy-three. And he's down. So just that thin man left now. And I can't shoot him in the face because I'm out of ammo, unfortunately. Sad times. I should just play it safe probably and run out. I don't want to give him a clear shot. We're green to go. Okay, he'll have to move now, so my sniper might be able to see him. Yep. Nice. So that should be it now. Yep, it's done, 10 aliens. That was easier than I expected when I saw the mutants at the start. I should get some nice promotions now. Not a no? Among the wow, squad. how annoying. That takes a solid effort. Oh well, I guess I'll live with that. So what can I do now? Not a whole lot, really. Oh yeah, what was that request? Ah, that was the satellite, right. Let's speed up then, I have time for one more mission in this part. Alien containment is done. And the arc thrower research is almost done. There we go. So it would be nice actually making some of these. Hmm. But I need more credits for that. I guess I'll sell some corpses. Not like I have a choice. That should be enough, at least for one. Glad to yeah. More help down here. If I can get six more credits, I could make two. Let's do it like this. All right, now I can make two. Commander to the research labs. Commander they go in pistol slot with this mod, so it's quite nice. And now I can do the mutant autopsy instantly, which should this give me plasma weapons credit, I think. Oh, or not, it didn't. Oh yeah, that's the interrogation. So I would need to capture a live one. Alright, so what now? I think I'll go for experimental warfare first before the beam weapons. Since I want to build a foundry. So let's do that. Not much else I can do now, zero credits. Satellite uplink is done. And six more days for satellites. So where am I going to launch the satellites? I think I'm going to launch one over Russia for the 200 credits. And the other two, I could launch them over North America to get the bonus from that. Probably a good idea, especially with Mexico already at free panic. So I might do that. Canada gives 150 credits, I think. What was that? Oh, Germany wants a satellite as well, for 200 credits again. Hmm, 
Interesting, so I could get 400 credits pretty much for free. I would just need to change my plans a bit regarding satellites. Okay. I think I'm going to do that. 400 credits at this stage of the game is a lot. It's going to help me a lot. Foundry is now available. And I'm going to go for beam weapons now. We've assembled everything we need. Oh, abductions. All right. Commander, let's do that first. Then. Urgent request for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Okay, all these countries are at one panic, so I can pick based on rewards. And I'm going to go for 200 credits from Germany. That seems like a no-brainer, really. And that was an easy mission, so I can bring a slightly different squad now, I guess. Why do I have minus 5 aim? That's probably something to do with the mod. Is it because I'm using extra item slot? No. Well, whatever, doesn't matter. Oh, it could be because of the armor. No? I guess I'm going to find out. Or maybe it's just the shotgun? No. Well, whatever. I don't want to waste time for that now. Okay, so, since this is an easy mission, I'll go without heavies this time around. So, you can sit out this one. Okay, she needs a promotion still. And I'm going to bring one more rookie on top of that. I need the second sniper. So, let's do that. And I think this is good. Yeah, I'm going with that. Let's go. For so when I get 200 credits from this Our mission, and then from the two satellite requests, I'm going to have 600 extra credits, broadcast. pretty much for free. Copy that, Big Sky. Strike All right, let's move. Engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. I'm kind of hoping the mid game will be much harder than in vanilla with this mod. That's kind of one of the reasons why I'm playing it. I'm hoping the game will be more balanced overall. The mid game in vanilla was just a joke, even on impossible. Nice! Good start! And she got a promotion as well. That's a great start. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting Rabbit has holo targeting. I should be opening with that. Before doing anything else, really. Or she can kill him. <laughs> that, that works too. So that was a great start. Oh no, I don't want to throw a grenade. That was a misclick. I, I mean, I pressed the wrong key. I wanted to reload my weapon with three, but I hit four instead. <laughs> that could have ended badly. But it's fine. Oh yeah, this car is going to blow up now. Not good. But I can't take that back now. So might as well deal with it. Mm, 
nice shot, and that was only with 26 percent. Well, that was a short mission, only four aliens, so I should have time to do one more mission. I hope that won't end with hospital time. That explosion. Yeah, it will. 22 days for Rex. That's not good. That means I lost my only sniper for 22 days. Oh well. I guess I'll handle it. Remember. Commander, our satellite is prepped okay, so. For launch. We are ready to deploy it on your Question orders. is, do I complete this request uh, when I launch the satellite or when it arrives over Russia? Because I only have one more day to fill the request. And the satellite takes a few days before it reaches the country you're launching it over. So I'm not quite sure and I don't really want to waste it. So I might just pass on that. I do have quite a few countries getting a bit high on panic. So if I got abductions in more than one of these, I would definitely lose them. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm definitely going to launch it over Germany. Let's do that. Satellite launched. And now I'm actually going to launch it over Canada and Mexico. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Satellite launched. Satellite so there we go. At maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. That's still going to be more than enough credits. But yeah, like I said, I have time for one more mission. So let's do that. Commander. Oh, it's going to be a council mission, alright. Target escort. Okay, let's do it then. Without a sniper, unfortunately. Okay, so since this is a council mission, I'm not really going to bring any rookies here. I can train rookies some other time. Oh, she's actually not a rookie anymore. But I'm going to bring someone more experienced anyway. Okay, let's have a look then. I can go with two heavies. That's two rockets. And I'm going to go with second support. Sounds like a plan. I need more than one support with Field Medic anyway, so I should start working on that fast. Alright, looks good. But now, instead of bringing grenade on assault, I'm actually going to give her a scope. She can't always shoot everything in the face from up close and personal, so a scope actually going to be useful. And I hardly ever use grenades on assault. So that seems like a better idea. And the rest looks fine, I think. Alright, let's go. France is sending an urgent mission request. Which mission is this? Oh, it's this one, okay. I know this one too well. Okay, so basically, I'm going to move inside this building and come out on the other side. Get him to the Sky Ranger for evac. Objective updated. And the first turn will have some filmmen dropping behind me. That's what usually happens, so I need to be ready for that. I'm going to leave someone outside. This is absurd. Yeah, dude, shut up. Think I would turn my back on my country? Yes, you would, apparently. 
Okay, he can stay somewhere here. And I'm going to keep someone outside on Overwatch. So this should be safe enough. Enemy forces headed your way, strike one. Get ready. Here's one. Hmm. I was hoping to kill him, you but. Have no right to do this! I work for the people! On whose authority do you operate? Bad shot, bro. Target's still up. Right, well, time to make use of lightning reflexes then. Down. Incoming fire. Yeah, you can try. And not a problem. Here's a shotgun to the face. Good start. Let's keep moving. I'm just going to go all the way to the other side of this building. I don't even need to go outside. There's no reason to. There could be one group of aliens inside. There quite often is one. And there will be some more filmen dropping near me. You've got hostile forces about to hit your position. Here's another one. And another one. Nice. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem, I think. He is on Overwatch, so if I move, he's going to fire. Hmm, can I get... Holo targeting up? I can't run through here because then I'll get poisoned. And I would prefer to avoid that. Okay, well, if I move with anyone, he's going to fire at me. I don't really want that to happen. I could just use a rocket, I suppose. Maybe that's not a bad idea. That would guarantee a kill, and I still have one other rocket. Yeah, I'm just going to blast him with the rocket. That was the safest way to do it. And you know, a mission without a rocket is a wasted mission, right? Ready to rock. Reloaded. So that's a pretty good start so far. Let's keep moving. Like I said, I'm not going to go outside at all. There's really no reason to. Especially since this is a fairly terrible spot. Because there quite often are aliens somewhere around this area. And they can go on the roof quite easily. I actually got killed here in one of my other games. So I just avoid that spot now. I think this is actually one of the easier council missions now. I do think it's one of the easier ones. Okay, nothing so far. There we go, more Finmen. They're 
Let's see if I can kill any. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Yeah, I need to move. They can't see Rabbit, however, so if they move, she can fire. Only 17%? Yeah, that's a bit too low for my taste. I could use a smoke grenade. Alright, let's do it like this, actually. And now I could move here and be in the smoke grenade. But that's still way too low, only 27%. Yeah, he's actually flanking Rabbit now, that's not good for me. 7 damage, not good. That's part of the reason why I use the smoke grenade like that. She will probably be wounded now. Oh well, I'll worry about that later. I'm not too sure how exactly to deal with that. I think I'm going to use a grenade on this one behind the wall. But how exactly? Okay, let's do it like this. Oh, my assault doesn't actually have a grenade. Whatever. Run and gun then. I can just run outside the building and kill him that way. If I move here, that will be safe, and I will be flanking him. Yeah, he is on overwatch, but I have lightning reflexes, so that's not a problem. Time to meet my shotgun. Alright, I, now I need to kill the other one. But I can just kill him with a grenade. I might have to. He's behind full cover, so the chances to hit him are pretty low. I could get holo targeting up first. Adjusting aim. I'm going to save someone with a grenade as backup. And if I can't kill him the regular way, I'm just going to throw a grenade. Sounds like a plan. And he's dead. And he got a promotion as well. Okay, let's heal Rabbit. Easy now, soldier. Yeah, I think she's going to spend some time in hospital, unfortunately. Looking back, I probably shouldn't have used Overwatch in that situation, but rather moved over here. But whatever. He's done now. Let's finish this mission. I'm still going to need to kill all the aliens on the map when I finish the escort, but I can do that once I successfully escort this dude to the exit. Back in. Then I can go outside and take care of all the aliens outside. There are probably going to be a few. But so far it's going well. Receiving reports of heavy X-ray activity in that area. Enemy forces are likely closing on your location. Oh, more thin men behind me. But that shouldn't be a problem. He's flanked.
I'm probably going to get one more wave when I get close to the exit, so probably on this turn. That's what usually happens. So I'm just going to switch everyone to Overwatch. Heads up, boys and girls. Intel yep, one more coming. Right for you. Like I said, that's what usually happens when you get close to the exit. And he's actually outside on the roof, okay. That's going to be slightly tricky. Because I can't go outside with the NPC now. That would be bad life choice for him. Let's have a look outside then. Oh, there's another dude out here as well. Okay. That will be slightly more tricky then. And yeah, even more thin men out here. Yeah, this is why I went inside the building at the start. Yeah, there are quite a lot out here. So I think I'm going to go back inside. No, I'm not going to stay out here. I'm going back inside. Let's do that. And I need to set up some defenses. I should be able to kill this dude. Let's open up with holo targeting then, if I can actually see him from here. Not, not great. Enemy is still alive. I could just use a grenade, I suppose. But I can still try to kill him the regular way. Okay, now I need to handle all the thin men outside. And move this dude somewhere safe. So I suppose I can open the door on the next turn. But first I'm going to reload all my weapons. Okay, something is coming. Not good. I hope he was he's not going to fire at my escort guy. Nope. But that was a bit dangerous right there. Okay, more coming in. Now I have to kill them. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Nine crit, that was nasty. I didn't think they are going to come in through the closed doors. But I was mistaken, obviously. Wow, that was a lot of damage. Alright, I need to kill them all on this turn. So let's start with this one. Damn it. Enemy is still alive. But yeah, I'm lucky Rabbit didn't die right there. That was a lot of damage. 9 Creed. Okay, this one will be easy as well. So now I need to kill these two. First one will be easy. Actually, not necessarily. Mm, I need to move somewhere safe with the rabbit. I could just run all the way out here. I don't think there are any more aliens out here. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I don't want her to die. Oh, great. He was on Overwatch. Damn it. Wow. I'm lucky she didn't die right now. That was a bit of a screw up on my part. But it's okay, she's safe. Hmm. I could flank this guy from here. There we go. 
I'm not sure if there are any more outside. So I don't really want to move out here. That's not, necessar not necessarily safe. But I don't really have a lot of choices. He is behind full cover, so... I'm going to do it. And he got a promotion. Yeah, now with rabbit wounded I need more support with field medic. Okay, I think that's all the aliens on the map dead now. But I'm going to run through just in case there's anything on overwatch waiting. Looks clear. Back in. Let's get out of here then. Where are you taking me? Alright, it's done. Let's see how long Rabbit is going to spend in hospital. Probably a month or so. Perhaps even longer. That was almost a fatal wound. 28 days, not too bad. I expected more. Hmm, suppression and Shredder Rocket. Yeah, I'm going with Suppression. And she actually got a promotion. Awesome. And yeah, I'm going with then Smoke. And another promotion. Okay, hmm, this is... I think I'm actually going to grab this one. Extra damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see. That's actually pretty good if I'm going to stick with the shotgun style. Alright, I'm going with that. 11 Thinman corpses. And I got a new recruit from that. Touch, so let's have a look. There he is. Oh yeah, he's actually support, so that's going to be useful. So, because he can get field medic. Nice. Alright, so that's going to conclude this part. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.